Question four. Chloe, question four finish. Okay. Let us go through question four. Four A. We are rounding off the numbers to two decimal places. So to determine the two decimal places, we look at the third decimal place. Since this is four, means we don't round up. Five remain as five. Okay. Okay. Part B is a bit more challenging. We want to see whether we round up the second decimal place, which is a nine. So we look at the third decimal place. Third decimal place is six. So we have to round up. The number larger than nine is ten. Okay. So if the if we, if we are rounding up, that means my nine will become ten. And this number becoming ten means it is zero, and I will add one to the first decimal place. Okay, because this is no longer nine but ten. Ten means I must add one more to here. Okay, nine I add one more also become ten, so it also becomes zero and add one more to my whole number. So it becomes three point. Zero, zero. Okay. We are still writing a number that is roughly two point nine nine six eight. They are still very close together. This is still an approximation or an estimation of two point nine nine six eight. Okay. Although we round up at the second decimal place, it becomes three point zero zero. But it is still uh, roughly this number. Okay, and you must answer three point zero zero because this is one decimal place. This is two decimal place. Okay. If in the exam. If you write your answer as three, or you write your answer as three point zero, or you write your answer as three point zero zero, all these are wrong. Okay, because numerically you may think they look the same. Three. 3.0, 3.0000 is all three. But when it comes to measurement, or when it comes to telling people things, they are telling different story. They are giving a different uh, value because just now we say already, the more decimal place, the more exact. So. When you give your answer to as three point zero zero, you are saying that it is exact to two decimal place. If you write a number three, that means it is only exact to one whole number. If you tell instead of writing three point zero zero, you write it as three point zero 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 zero, you are saying that this number is exact until. One, two, three, four, five, five decimal places. So, although they are all three, but this one you are telling people that your three is exact until five decimal places. So, John, three point zero zero. You you are telling people your three is exact only until two decimal places. So, they are different. How many decimal places you write? Is there is a difference? Okay. So more decimal is more correct. Exact. Okay. Okay. And in approximation and estimation, we are giving a rough answer. So it's how rough you give. And the answer specify the question specify they want two decimal place. So you have to answer to two decimal place. Okay. Yes. So for C, zero point one seven eight six is roughly two 
decimal place, so we look at the third decimal place, since it is 8, this one must round up. Okay? Then after you round up, write this bracket to tell people how exact your answer is. Okay? Add this bracket. Just now I forgot to add. There's no place to write out. So 